Hey everyone, welcome back to the layout once again. It's uh, been a while since the last layout update, which is sort of a theme that I've got going on. Uh, but I'm about to head out on another trip uh, tomorrow morning, actually. I'm going out west to do a bit of rail fanning. So I figured I should touch base with all of you and let you know where I am with the layout. Um, really, not much has happened since the last update, so this is more of just a uh, letting you know I'm here and, and just sort of sharing my thoughts with you on uh, how things are going with the layout and the direction I'll go next. Uh, so I won't, I won't get too much into anything, but there are a few things to share. First off, I did pick up a few new pieces of rolling stock. Uh, you'll see over here I got a couple of Atlas uh, center beam flat cars. These are from the, uh, the new release from probably a couple months ago now. I got one in the TTX scheme you see right there. Also got a Canadian National version. And uh, these are really nicely detailed cars. If you look up close there, you'll see separately applied grab irons. And then underneath the car, uh, there are um, brake lines and things like that, which look really, really nice. So excited to have those. These are always good cars to have for modern uh, manifest freights. I then also picked up a bulkhead flat car from Atlas and then another Atlas uh, car here. This is a uh, just generic three bay uh, covered hopper in the bay mag scheme. Uh, for, I didn't get it in this uh, scheme for any particular reason. Just seemed like a cool one to have and these weather these weather uh, pretty interestingly. So um, that'll be fun to have and, and I look forward to weathering that. And weirdly all four of my recent purchases are Atlas models for uh, once again, for no particular reason, so that's just by chance. Um, also picked up some cool little details for this scene here. I have uh, cross bucks. These are all from uh, Small Scale Innovative, so these cross bucks look really nice. They have a stained wood post and aluminum um, cut sign, so they look metal on the back side. Uh, whistle posts. Also got some FRA um, information placards that will go on the cross bucks, as well as the uh, the, the crossing gates at our other grade crossing. And then, I uh, actually have one right here, a couple, couple no trespassing signs that will spread out throughout the scene. Um, so other things missing from the scene, I've mentioned this before, but I need to get um, more trees and bushes in here. I'll be working on that soon. Uh, still haven't done anything with the grain elevator complex. Uh, you might notice that our little, our blue building over here that's been sitting, sitting there for a while um, that has gone away temporarily because we are working on turning that into our helper facility here. So it's going to get repainted and have some details added to it. I uh, still need to redo the dirt in here because I forgot to paint this section. You can see that the, the marker that I had originally has come through the dirt. Um, so then again, nothing really happening going down this way. Um, all I have really been working on is continuing the scenery this way if that makes sense. So we're still not done this way back as I've just pointed out um, but I am sort of working the scenery in a linear fashion and I'm moving uh, along the line here and uh, what I've been focusing on over the last week or so is uh, touching up this area. I've sort of used this as my test bed for scenery um, but I've changed my methods and materials since then so I've gone back over all the dirt um, to sort of change the color also slightly changed the color of our little rock cut there. Still not happy with it, so I'm gonna work with that a little bit more. But you'll see that I've uh, I finished this dirt road up here. Um, wouldn't say finished, there's still some details to add. Of course, there's no grass or anything like that. But you can see the tire tracks. I, I think the color turned out pretty nicely. And I like the texture as well. Um, still need to do the dirt on the outside of the curve there. Um, but if I turn around here, you'll see this is the sort of uh, ballasty, gravelly uh, access road that I'm trying to go for around the layout, and I like the way that uh, this turned out here. Um, so anyway, that's that's all there is in the way of scenery, um, and that's really all I have to update you on. Because if we look elsewhere around the layout, nothing's really happened on the lower level, just because I've been focusing on scenery up here. Um, I have started to finish up the the touch up everywhere so all the seams from the paper or any bumps or things that I wanted to get rid of I've tried to smooth that out with uh, some plaster and all this still needs to be sanded down a bit more uh, but it's starting to take shape I do have the road up here 
uh, sanded and uh, mostly plastered on either side of the of the shoulders there to smooth it into the surrounding scenery and then I've painted the top surface so this will be ready for dirt very soon um, I do need to work on the grade crossing here I don't have the the fascia side leveled out yet uh, and I think you guys had already seen the uh, the tunnel portal that I have right there so now I am working on uh, getting the next one done. So that's what I'm doing over here. Still haven't got it cut out, but I make my tunnel portals out of cardboard first, and then I face them with plaster, and then just carve out the patterns um, to, to make the portal look as close to the prototype as possible. And so far that's worked out for me. So I've got one to do on the other side of that tunnel, and then one that you see down there uh, all the way at the end, and then I'll be able to finish the, the scenery contours around that. Um, and you'll see I, I do have some dirt up here, so pretty soon I will be blending all of this um, in with the scenery I have down in that corner once I connect this section. I also need to touch up the wall. So, so if you guys have thoughts, please share. That is all I have for you in this layout update. Um, as I said, I'll be heading out to Railfan starting tomorrow, so uh, once I get back I'll upload those videos. I'll also work on getting some layout Railfanning videos in. and. Uh, Things should settle down for me now. Um, I've been doing a lot of travel this summer between work and vacation, so once I get back from this trip, I will have quite a bit more time to work on the layout, and I'm feeling pretty motivated to get a lot of scenery done. So um, I know I always promise more frequent videos, but I'm really feeling it this time. Uh, so as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, and I will see you next time.